Dr. Sella here, and if you're going to run the, the triple option offense out of the spread formation, it's because of the lack of surface, not having a, a third man in the surface, it's going to change the way you, you run the whole thing. You're really going to start off by running the triple, whether you run triple or mid-triple. Uh, Army and Air Force prefer mid-triple. Navy leans a little more to the traditional inside veer, but regardless, this is how it starts off. So if you are going to purely run out of the spread formation, the three T's of triple option football start here with the triple, whether it's triple or mid-triple. So basically what you're doing is you're going to cancel one and two with the football. So the quarterback's going to take the snap, jump at the backside, a gap, point the ball. The B-back's going to sprint through the ball, and then he's going to sprint through the place that hip of the guard and score. Generally at mid-triple, if it's a give read, this guy's going to close down and take the dive. So the ball will cut right there. I have that drawn in case he actually just stood right there and didn't close to the ball. So... And then obviously if one takes the dive, he's going to scrape over the top and he'll get blocked by the tackle. And then it's a pull or a pitch. But mid-triple is the first thing you would do. Then if you didn't get four yards on that, you'd run the trap. Air Force ran a lot of trap in 2021. As a matter of fact, according to the data, in the 13 games they played, they averaged eight traps a game. That's a lot of traps. So, but oftentimes you would see Air Force, if they were not successful on mid-triple, they would come back and run the trap the next play, regardless of what occurred, whether it was a give read or a pull read or a pitch. So they would trap number one, and then basically the tackle veers inside, the guard is gapped down backer, the center is gapped down backer, the guard traps number one, helmet to the left, right forearm, drives them out of bounds, backside tackle scoops. Quarterback basically runs triple to the left, jumps in the backside A gap, points the ball. The B will run through the ball, and then he'll bend off the tackles, block, and vertical, and score. Quarterback and A back carry out the fake to hold number two. That's the second team. If that doesn't work, tossing the ball is your final option because tossing the ball, what happens here is you'll switch blocking on the perimeter. The tackle's got to run past number two to get to the backer. The guard is working to get to number two. If, if the tackle has to block number two, the guard has to overlap him to block the mic or else you're outnumbered. You triple scoop the backside, cut off with the receiver. Quarterback's going to reverse salary. He's going to toss the ball to the A-back coming around. Who's going to catch the ball two yards outside the tackle, break on a 45, break to the end zone while the B-back touches the guard, flattens out, blocks the first threat off the tackle so those are the three t's so basically you're going to come out you're going to run mid triple if you get four yards on it run it again if you don't run the trap if you don't get four yards on the trap you got to toss it outside because obviously you've tried to run it uh up inside that didn't work too well now you're going to toss it if that doesn't work you're either going to throw it down the field or you're going to punt so that's the thing about it now this is not really what they're doing now now it's really become more of a Flex heavy game with the flex formation, the heavy formation. You can see countless videos of how that's done. But if you were going to purely run it out of the spread formation because you got a two man surface, that's how you would do it. This is the way they were doing the running the offense years ago, but obviously it's evolved now to more of a three man surface game with the zone dive and the zone kick being the predominant concepts along with the mid triple. So Basically, you need surface to run uh, a zone, the modern zone dive, and also it really helps to run that. Well, you have to, to run the zone kick pretty much. So, coaches, if you're looking to run Army, Navy, and Air Force's modern day triple option offense the right way the first time, give me a call. My number's on the thumbnail of this video. So, is the website, the Triple Option Football Academy, and the Triple Option Football Academy camps will get you running this the right way the first time, right now. We'll talk soon.